Rock 100.5 KATT. I am Cameron Buckholtz here with Tyler Bryant and the Shakedown. What's happening, guys? Ah, oh, getting ready to rock. It's good to see you again. It's been a Indeed. second. Yeah, man. You guys are here tonight at the, the Chesapeake Arena yes. with Guns N' Roses, uh, a little band some people might have heard of before, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As long as they haven't been living under a rock and, right? Uh, <laughs> like to rock, then they probably heard of Guns. But now you guys have played a number of shows with them before, right? Yeah, I think this will be our 20th show with them okay. or something. Something, something along those lines. Like Actually, uh, I guess 21 if you count the festival we just did uh, with them, but that, that wasn't just us and them. That sure. Was festival, exit, so. exit 111. Yeah, which was great. Um, but yeah, this will be a, a fun night, I think. Nice. Yeah, because you guys are doing two of the shows on this run. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's kind of cool the way they mix it up that way and not just... Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure from your standpoint, it's like, well, no, give us all of them. But. Yeah, of course, <laughs> well, of course, of course. But they've always been pretty cool about... Um, having different bands out I mean even when we were in Europe with them it would be sometimes it would be us and the Kills or us and Biffy Clyro or uh, Ghost they always had they're changing it up for the audience and I think that if if you know I was in their position I would want to do that as well yeah so it's cool nice and do you guys have like a, a relationship with them or is it a thing where like you show up and you never see them or like how does that kind of work with a band like well, that well it's it's funny because we were we were actually out with ACDC on the Rocker Bust mm -hmm. uh, world tour and that was we did the last 10 shows with Brian Johnson okay and so when Brian Johnson whenever the news broke that he wasn't going to be finishing the tour mm -hmm. that was devastating for us because we were like uh, out yeah. we have to we like we canceled everything to do mm -hmm. this tour and uh axel rose totally saved our summer you know helped us right. pay our rent and all that and uh, we met him in we met him in london and he said yeah it was, it was great to have an opening band i don't have to insert some colorful language ignore right yeah and uh we were like wow that's really cool and, and he said how would you like to come play with with my band sometime. <laughs> with with my bands. With yeah, my little bands. Yeah, we're like, you, you mean guns. And so we we have... A question. Yeah, we've got... You mean guns and... We've been fortunate to spend some cool time with with all those guys. You know, we got to ride on their jet with them once in South America, which was <laughs> rad. Yeah. We all kind of just went to the back of the plane and tried not to... Right, left them alone. Yeah, fly comfortably under the radar. Yeah. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, everyone's been super kind and down to earth to us. Awesome, awesome. I know you guys released uh, the latest record, Truth and Lies, uh, what's it been, like maybe six months-ish? Yeah. Four, yeah. June 28th, June. Right? right? There you go. And, yeah. and how has uh, this cycle been so far for you guys? It's been great, man. We've been, uh, you know, we've just kind of been out tour and we just finished the tour with Stone Temple Pilots and Rival Sons mm -hmm. and uh, it's just it's just so exciting for us to have some new life in the show to play I mean tonight we're pretty much playing only new songs except for you know maybe one song we're just playing stuff from the new album and mm -hmm. I think it's the the uh, sort of best snapshot of the band that's out there so nice we're, we're really proud of it Awesome. And you guys did it in New York, right? Yeah, we did it in Brooklyn at this uh, at Studio G with this producer, Joel Hamilton. And uh, yeah, it was it was so much fun to kind of, we rented a, like a little Airbnb up there and we all lived together and took the subway and, you know, it was freezing cold, but yeah. Nice. I mean, because that's an interesting that you guys did it up there because I just feel like, you know, you from Texas and just being in Nashville and stuff, what was kind of the choice to like, just you want to get out of your elements or? Yeah, I mean, I think we... We met this producer Joel and kind of just hit it off. We liked he did the uh, this record uh, called Black Rock with the Black Keys and some of the hip hop artists, and we liked that album as well as the Highly Suspect record he had done, and um, and he'd done stuff with Tom Waits, who that's a, you know one of my favorites. And we went to a studio uh, before our show at the Irving Plaza with Clutch, and we were like, ah, we can really see ourselves camping out here. So it was less about New York and more about the studio, the gear, and just the sort of chemistry that we felt with Joel at the time. And and also there's, you know, when you're home, you're thinking like, ah, oh, I better get home to see my girl. Or before you go to the studio, you're thinking about doing the dishes or, right. you know, whatever, mm -hmm. all the little distractions. We didn't have any of that there. So we just, we spent two and a half weeks or so and, and knocked out an album and then came home. Awesome. And now, now what's coming up next for you guys after? The, these couple gun shows oh uh, yeah we've I guess we're doing uh, well we're after Salt Lake City with guns we're flying straight to the Kiss Cruise okay which will be really cool <laughs> and uh, also that's a that's a trip of a time man sure, because sure. everyone has their faces painted like <laughs> right. Kiss so if you're walking to get food you don't know mm -hmm. if it's a real just everyone except Bruce Kulick yeah. has their face exactly yeah. <laughs> and uh, so we're doing that and then we're going to uh, straight to Europe straight to, to Berlin is where we start yeah and we're kicking off a tour with Airborne 
Okay, I've read. Yeah, and doing headline shows peppered mm-hmm. in as well. So lots of touring for the rest of the year. Yeah. Awesome. As well, always. I, yeah, well, thank you guys so much for coming into the uh, the jungle room, as we yeah, call this. Absolutely, man. And uh, glad we were able to make it work out before yeah. this big show tonight. Yeah. And uh, thanks a lot. Thanks for having thank us, man. You, man. We'll hang tonight.